Jai Radha Madhava Jai Gunja Bihari Jai Gupachana Vallabha Jai Giri Vanarari Jai Giri Vanarari Yasodhanandana Prachetana Ranjana Yasodhanandana Prachetana Ranjana Munathira Havana Chari Munathira Havana Chari Jai Radha Madhava Jai Gunja Bihari Rini Bhagavita 4.25 Dhamanya Vaparaya Yajyam Yogina Pariyaparsate Brahmana vaparhe jagyam jane naiva vayuju vati. Some yogis perfectly worship the demigods by offering different sacrifices to them, and some offer sacrifices in the fire of Supreme Brahman. So there's different ways to perform yagya, the sacrifice. One is to worship the devatas, which is the demigods. Another is to worship the Supreme. But at the end, the powers of these demigods, they, they are not belonging to these demigods, but that since they are Gnostic, they are borrowed from the Supreme. So by, uh, uh, by directing the offering, which is example chanting that we seen as a Mantra seen as an offering to the Supreme, by directing the offering to the Supreme, one get there all the benefits, but the demigods, the benefit that comes from the demigods, that comes ultimately supreme. So one should try to approach the source of all the energies and do the, like, uh, dedicate one's actions on achieving that source, connect, reconnecting to that source, reconnecting to the supreme. So devatas, there's different devatas, Demigods and empowered beings, but all our power, our powers are not our powers. They belong to the Supreme and they are borrowed. We may be very, very strong or strong or beautiful or, or intelligent or whatever we may be. But these, we may be very proud of our qualities, but these qualities are all borrowed. And we can see they don't last forever. One, one is borrowing them from the Supreme and then, then at the end one has to give them up as well. Bhagavad Gita, Gita.